Euphormia is happy to announce we are teaming up with Fuel3D to help them launch their new Kickstarter campaign for their 3D handheld scanner, which is coming in under a thousand US dollars. We're really excited about their technology. And today in the video, I'm going to be demonstrating using some of these scans to make some really interesting objects. So today I'll be taking a Greek head, a scan of a Greek head, and I'll be applying someone else's face scan on that Greek head to make a new Greek god. So don't forget to check out their Kickstarter campaign, look at their incentives, and be sure to support them. For now, let's check out how easy it is to use their data in MeshUp. So before we get started on the Greek head example I'm showing you, I brought in a different scan that really exemplifies the quality of the scans you can get with a Fuel 3D scanner. Um, if you have ever worked with a handheld scanner like I have for scanning faces, I have never been able to capture the eyelashes like I see here in, in this scan. I, I was just blown away. This is the first scan they shared with me and I knew as soon as I saw it that this truly was a really innovative blend of technologies to get what I see here. And at the price point under $1,000, I'm just, I'm just blown away by this. Let's head back over to the Greek head model and I'll show you how easy it is to combine their scans with our software. So we're gonna get a little playful today by taking this Greek head that Feel3D sent us. It's a really beautiful scan. And we are going to turn one of the Fuel 3D folks into a Greek god today. So say hello to Phil and his face scan. There it is. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we have to do is make sure that both of our objects are volumes in order to perform a blend union. So let's start with the head and click on the volume menu. And there we have three options. We have envelope, shell, and volume. Envelope, we can turn anything into an envelope. So you can give us polygon soup, we'll turn it into an envelope. It's no problem for us. You don't have to worry about fixing in mesh. Um, shell requires that your mesh has no degenerate faces, no intersections, and no flip faces. And volume requires that the mesh is completely watertight. So when you want to work with shell and volume, you want to come over here to the repair menu and run those commands first to fix your mesh. Uh, but again, with envelope, don't worry about doing that at all. And in the future, we are going to color code mesh up so you'll be able to really easily see, is your mesh a volume? Uh, does your mesh have degenerate faces, flip faces, and so on? So today I can tell that um, our Greek head statue came in with no problems at all. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that into a volume. Great, there that is. And now we'll work with the face scan. And for the face scan, I can see that that outline there, that turquoise outline tells me that, of course, and we can see that it's got a hole in the back. But for our purposes today, we don't have to fill that hole. So I'm going to work uh, with it as a shell. So I'm going to set the shell to an offset of three. Great, and there it is. We've got a shell now of the face scan. Let's take a look at that. Perfect. It's going to work great. So now what we need to do is line up this face and get it in the right position so it's covering up the Greek face. Do a little replacement here. Okay, and there we are. It looks pretty good. Let's take a look. A closer look and yeah, I'm quite happy with that placement. So we are ready to perform the union. So come over here to the union command. Uh, we've got the face selected and the second object. It's the Greek head. And let's set that to 0 0.3 for a blend. And there we go. Uh, the, the time elapse there can be a few seconds or longer depending on what you're trying to blend. Um, but this is the result which is quite impressive. Gorgeous. So thanks to Fuel3D for their innovative technology which is finally bringing professional level scanning in the reach of everyone. 
And, and we really feel that MeshUp and Field 3D together revolutionize the 3D design space. So, right, you can take your scanner, you can point, you can shoot, you can bring it into MeshUp, combine your meshes together, edit them, blend them. It's super simple, powerful, intuitive tools. So this is a whole entire system that we really feel that just quite simply works. So you'll be able to output 3D print ready models. We are really looking forward to seeing how you are going to use these tools to remix the world around you.